What's up guys? Mike Schiff here, director of The History of Metal and Horror, the documentary that explores the history of both genres and how they came to merge over time. I'm producing the project with my friend Robert Lucas and we have Brian Slagle from Metal Blade Records on board as executive producer. We traveled the country and interviewed some of the biggest names in these industries. They expressed some of their greatest fears, shared their favorite horror films, and their thoughts on the connection between metal and horror. Making this documentary has been a lot of fun. I get to hang out with guys like Corey Taylor from Slipknot. This is my favorite right here though. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I got bagpipe lessons from Jonathan Davis of Korn. You're not gonna get it overnight, brother. <laughs> and I learned some very special tricks from Doug Bradley, AKA Pinhead from Hellraiser. Trick? You want me to show you? But most importantly, we're putting together a documentary that we know you will all love. So check out some clips from our last round of interviews. Horror is the most expandable, oldest genre there is. It started with the birth of cinema. So it's always going to be with us. And it keeps expanding as the cultures change. My dad's portrayal of Count Dracula really inspired a whole movement, the goth movement. We were called the uh, devil worshippers, you know, it was very shocking at that time. People seem to really love uh, Chop Top. They love, I guess, the humor and, you know, it just is insanity. As far as Red Rum, as a kid, I just remember practicing it, you know, sp spelling it and the letters backwards. I understand that it's scary for a lot of people. I'm not saying metal makes you violent and all that, but it just helps my energy. I used one song in particular a lot throughout my Jason performances, and that was Enter Sandman. The band right now are more influenced by horror because the sound is very dark, very strong, you know, and they look like uh, bad boys, you know, yeah. The inspiration for our mascot, Vic Rattlehead, is really simple. It's so in your face. It's see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. The name of the second band to our record is Vulgar Display of Power. If you're the devil, why not make the straps disappear? That's much too vulgar display of power, Karis. Horror and the things that scare us are still a running theme in all of our songs. It's boring to sing about love all the time. <laughs> when the lyrics get a little darker, it gets a little bit po more poetic and more interesting. That was the first time somebody ever come to me and say, you write a song, but it has to be called Dream Warriors, and the title Dream Warrior must be in the chorus. And we did a song about the Countess Bathory called End Your Children to Be Damned, and we were completely drenched in blood through the whole video. There's a character in Redneck Zombies called the Tobacco Man. He's got like a, a hood with one eye and like like bloody spittle, like he coughs all the time and stuff. And uh, that was where we got the idea for that. I kind of like the fast zombie stuff, you know, the 28 days and all that. Because the old guys, you know, hell, they're kind of like... The third Omen movie, when he's in the room with the statue of Jesus, show man instead the raptures of thy kingdom. Oh, I would have just let him win the Antichrist win. REC from Spain, it's a zombie film. There's like a zombie locked up in this attic. <laughs> it just scared the piss out of me. I think there's a lot of like shock value with horror. And I think with metal, it's also the same thing. You want to have that impact on whoever you're playing for. Rock and roll is is the devil, and um, horror is the devil too. So for me, it's like perfectly natural. But horror is, uh, you know, it's a great genre. We love it. It's a great way to make meaning, and we're lucky to be a part of, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. We're now launching the second part of our fundraising campaign, and could really use your help in completing the project. Your donations will help cover production and post-production costs. We're also going to be shooting a short wraparound film that will help tie the entire story together. The quicker we can get fully funded, the quicker we can get the documentary into your hands. So please, go to MetalHorror.com for more info on the project, links to our social media pages, and our donation page.